Hello, good evening. How are you? ¿Cómo están? How's everyone doing today? ¿Cómo están este día todos? Welcome to our um, prior to last day of the module. Bienvenidos a nuestro casi último día, nuestro penúltimo día de este módulo. Hope you are doing great. I'm excited. We're almost done. Casi terminamos. Let me go ahead and start sharing my agenda en lo que esperamos que se unen los demás. Voy a comenzar a compartir nuestra agenda so that we can review what we'll be covering today para que podamos revisar lo que vamos a estar viendo hoy. I see that we are eight people already. So good evening. Veo que ya estamos ocho personas. Buenas noches. ¿Qué tal? How are you? Buenas noches. Hello. I am fine. Thank nice. you. Nice. Glad to hear that. Me alegra escuchar eso. Glad to hear that. I fight the chair and you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. I'm doing good. Thank you so much. Alrighty. Can you see my screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes. Nice. Thank you. Thank you for confirming. Gracias por confirmar. So, yesterday we left off reviewing present continuous WH questions. Nos quedamos revisando las WH questions con el presente continuo. Recordarles, estimados, que por los problemas que he estado teniendo con conexión, eh, había, les había comentado que no estoy con, eh, encendiendo mis cámaras en estos días para evitar que se nos caiga la llamada como sucedió la semana anterior. So, um, como les había comentado, I do apologize, si me disculpo con ustedes, pero es que para que no se nos vaya a caer la llamada por la conexión. Ok, entendido. Thank you. All right. So that being said, ya dicho esto, el día de hoy vamos a continuar con el present continuous. We're going to continue talking about the present continuous. We will do some vocabulary activities. Vamos a hacer algunas actividades de vocabulario, some knowledge checks, algunos uh, ejercicios para ver cómo hemos comprendido. And we will do a reading Practice. Vamos a hacer una práctica de lectura donde ustedes puedan practicar eh, hablar, your vocabulary, your pronunciation, and all of those things. Y todas esas cosas, right? So, uh, that will be the last topic that we cover this module. Va a ser el último tema que cubramos en este módulo. Y el día de mañana ya nos vamos a quedar solamente viendo nuestro final test review. Sé que algunos puede que ya hayan llegado a esa parte, quizás algunos no. Mañana lo vamos a resolver. Si ustedes ya lo resolvieron, that's awesome, that's good, that's great. Um, and if you haven't, that's okay as well. Simplemente recordarles, trabajar en este día o mañana igual en toda la sección 5 si no lo han hecho, para que el día de mañana ya solo resolvamos el final test and you are done. You are done with the module. Se quedan terminados con el módulo. And you can have a little bit of time to rest, un poco de tiempo para descansar en lo que comienza el siguiente. Alrighty. So, it is 9.05, 9.05 minutos. Veo que aún se están uniendo algunas personas. I see some people are still joining. But I think we are good to start. Creo que estamos bien para comenzar. All right, let me review the chat. Creo que no tenemos nada en el chat. I think we're good. All righty, perfect. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and move back to our platform. Veamos en nuestra plataforma. 
I see one more person just joined. Welcome to those that just joined. Bienvenidos los que se están uniendo. We will start reviewing some activities. We'll start reviewing activities and how we can connect those activities to the present continuous. ¿Cómo podemos conectar estas actividades con el present continuous? We will use this video to start our class. Vamos a usar este video para comenzar nuestra clase. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with vocabulary in order to express activities. Let's start by listening and repeating. He's playing tennis. He's riding a bike. She's running. He's swimming. She's taking a walk. They're dancing. She's driving. They're going to the movies. He's shopping. She's reading. She's studying. He's watching television. Now, your task is to describe the actions from the pictures and form statements in the present continuous. For example, he's playing tennis. She's riding a bike. You should get creative and change the he or she for the names of people that you know. For example. All right. So we reviewed what we have to do. Ya sabemos cuál, eh, cuál es el ejercicio que tenemos que hacer. So we will take these activities and we will transform them into the present continuous. Y las vamos a transformar al presente continuo. Entonces... Hagamos el siguiente. We have the verb run. Right? And we know that in order for us to make present continuous sentences, para hacer oraciones en el presente continuo, we need the subject plus the verb to be plus the verb with ing plus a complement if needed. Right? So, run. ¿Cómo diríamos run una oración que se les ocurra? Whoever wants to participate. Cualquier persona que quiera participar. ¿Cómo diríamos una oración con el verbo run? In the present continuous. He is running in the park. Nice. That's perfect. He is running in the park. Right. What if I wanted to do a question? Y si yo quisiera hacer una pregunta de esta oración, he's running in the park. ¿Cómo podría sacar una pregunta de esa oración? Siempre in the present continuous. Uh, can be, is, is he running in the park? Okay, that's good. Is he running in the park? Nice, great. ¿Y usando una WH question? Where is he running? Nice, excellent. Where is he running? Ambos son buenos ejemplos. That's great. Where is he running? That's awesome. All right. Anyone have any questions with this example? ¿Alguna persona tiene alguna pregunta con este ejemplo? All righty, I see someone in the chat. Oh, veo a uh, Elmer in chat. Who is running in the park? Yeah, that's great. Who is running in the park? That's great. Muy buena pregunta as well. Perfect. Cool. Let's do another one. Hagamos otro. Let's do swim. Who can give me a sentence using swim? Usando swim in the present continuous. She is swimming in the pool. He's swimming in the pool. 
Nice. Recordemos, según las reglas, consonante, vocal, consonante, entonces lleva otra letra adicional. He is swimming in the pool. ¿Qué pregunta podría hacer? WH o over o, o basic yes or no question from that sentence, de esa oración. ¿Qué pregunta podría sacar? Así como lo hicimos con Run. What question could we make? ¿Qué pregunta podríamos hacer? ¿Puedes swim? swimming? ¿Cómo? Who is swimming? Okay, who is swimming? That's good. What else? ¿Qué otra pregunta? Uh, what is where swimming? Is swimming? Where is he swimming? That's nice. Where is he swimming? Right. Recordemos que vamos a llevar todos los elementos, right? So, WH question, verb to be, subject, y el verbo con ING. So, where is he swimming? Y la respuesta sería in the pool, right? Nice. Let's do one final example. Hagamos un ejemplo final más. And let's do it with read. Read. Who can give me a sentence using read? Usando read. Let's read. He's reading a book. Okay. Nice. She's reading a book. Or she's, right? She's reading a book. What about the question? ¿Qué pregunta podríamos hacer? Who reading a book? Okay, who is reading a book? What else? ¿Qué otra pregunta? What is she reading? Excellent. That's awesome. That's great. Yes, what is she reading? Porque la misma oración nos la puede contestar, right? What is she reading? A book. Or she's reading a book. Nice. Perfect. All right. Anyone have any questions? Hasta aquí. Alguien que tenga alguna pregunta up until this point? Is everything clear? Se comprende? Yes. No Great. Okay. Awesome. Alrighty. If everything is clear, that's good. In that case, let us do a check. Hagamos un check real quick. For this exercise, we have a listening test. So we have six exercises on what these people are doing. And we have to type in the correct action. Tenemos que escribir la acción correcta um, that Mary is doing. What's Mary doing? And we will do it for each um, question. Lo vamos a hacer para cada question, para cada audio. Vamos a escuchar todos primero. We'll listen to all of them first. And then we will go one by one completing the answers. Después vamos a ir uno por uno completando las respuestas. What's Mary doing? Answer questions about each sound. One. Mary doing? Two. Three. Four. 
next Wednesday night. Five. Six. Seven. All right. So we all, I oh know we do have seven. Sí, tenemos siete. Okay. All right. ¿Pudieron ubicar alguna de las respuestas based on the sounds? Yes. Nice. So, oops, sorry. So, which one were you able to answer? ¿Cuál pudieron eh, responder? She is uh, driving. Which one? ¿Cuál es esa? Number one. Right. So let's see. She is driving. What does everyone else think? ¿Qué piensan los demás? Yes. That's okay. Hi. Number two. What about number two? What do you Swimming think? in the pool. Swimming in the pool? All right. So she's swimming. Is that right? Yes. yes. Nice. All righty. Did you get number three? We can list it again as well. She, just just talking. Eating. Eating, right? Eating. Let's listen. About each sound. One. Two. Three. Right, so she's eating. We hear the plates, we hear the cutlery, los cubiertos. What about number four? Let's listen. Four. What about that one? What's He's that? Watching TV. Waiting for the previous one. Watching TV. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's do the next one. <laughs> next Wednesday night. Five. Is dancing. Dancing? Yes. Yeah. All righty. Right, on, on to number six. Let's listen. Six. What is she doing? Breathing a bike. She's reading. Riding. 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 Oops. Excuse me. Riding a bike. A bike. Seven. She's playing tennis. She's playing tennis. He's playing tennis. Nice. All right, so let's review. Let's see what we have right. Let's see what we don't have right. Veamos que nos falta, que tenemos bien, que no tenemos bien. And we are missing one. She is driving. What could this be? ¿Qué podría ser? 
el apóstrofe. They want us to contract the answer. Quieren que, con, que hagamos yes. la respuesta contracted. Yes. There we go. That's right. So, todas estas igual las podríamos hacer. Yes, sir. Right? Recordemos que siempre la contracción de she is, es she's. ¿Sí? Yes, sir. ¿Sí? Porque okay, en la primera sí le pide que sea con apóstrofe y las otras no. Fíjense que estamos trabajando en que toda la plataforma te, pueda agarrarles todas las opciones. Algunas, por alguna razón, solo tienen esta y no tiene esta opción aceptada, pero ambos estarían okay. correctos. Es un poco. Right. Any questions that you have with this exercise? ¿Alguna pregunta que tengamos con este ejercicio? Or are we good? Is everything okay? All good. Alrighty. All good. Oh. That's good to know, good to know. All right. So that's awesome. Perfect. In that case, let's go ahead and review our next objective. Who wants to help me read this lesson's objective? ¿Quién quiere leer el objetivo de este lesson? Me? Go ahead. In this class, a student will read and only chat and develop a skill and reading for details. Thank you so much. All right. So in this class, students will read an online línea, right? online chat and develop skills in reading for details. Thank you, that's awesome. So let's go ahead and get started with that conversation. Let's go ahead and listen. Hi everyone, in this class you'll read an online chat and develop skills in reading for details. So let's get started. Reading. Friends across a continent. Meg Martin and Kathy O'Brien chat online almost every day. Meg is an exchange student from the U.S. She is studying in Mexico. Kathy is in the U.S. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Can you chat? a minute. Where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye. All right. After listening to the conversation, después de escuchar de, a la conversación y antes de que hagamos los ejercicios, before we do the exercises, do you have any questions with this conversation? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta con esta conversación about vocabulary um, or anything about the conversation? ¿Alguna pregunta de vocabulario? ¿Conocemos todas las palabras? Uh, do you not understand something? Algo que no comprendamos. 
how do you say eh, I ensayo el que essay essay okay essay this right here I'm writing an yes. essay ensayo Excellent, super good question. Any other questions anyone has? Teacher. See? Si? What is mowing? Yes. Mowing, that's super good question. Excellent, that's a super great question. Mowing the lawn. Do you know what the lawn is? Saben que es el lawn? El césped, that's right. So when we say we uh, that he is mowing the lawn, está cortando el césped. Como chapodeando, right? Pero con una máquina, so. The verb is mow. The verb is mow, that's right. Mow. Mow. Y la máquina con la que cortan el césped se llama lawn mower. El corta césped. Excellent question. Super buenas preguntas. That's great vocabulary. Any other questions you can have? Alrighty. In that case, let us move our screen. Movamos nuestra pantalla. Right here to our exercise, movámonos al ejercicio, and we will practice a reading. This is the conversation we just read, but we are going to be reading it. Es la, conversa la conversación que acabamos de escuchar, pero la vamos a leer nosotros. So, this one's our two. Short. Las primeras son muy cortos. So I will read it. Hi there. Hi Meg. What are you doing? Who wants to help me read? ¿Quién me quiere ayudar a leer this section? ¿Sí? Usted ya sabe dónde está Maravilla. Yeah, go ahead. Así que es que hágale un esfuerzo y que se vaya para allá. Que se vaya para Bogotá. Hola. Hello, go ahead. I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. Thank you, Luis. That's right. Sitting on my bed with my laptop computer, doing my homework. And what are you working on? Who wants to read this section? I am writing. OK, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> um. Um, writing an AC4 Spanish class. Thank you. That's right. I'm writing or writing an essay for Spanish class. Nice. Thank you. All right. Can you chat for a minute? Where are you? All right, Gustavo, you can read this one then. Um, I am in a inter internet coffee with my friends Carmen. I am having coffee and she is reading a magazine. How is, how is your family? Thank you so much, Gustavo. This is good vocabulary. Este es un buen vocabulario. We have a cafe there. and we have coffee, right? So when we're talking about a cafe, puede ser un, un internet cafe, un ciber cafe, or un cafe también es como una coffee shop tipo Starbucks donde la gente va a trabajar. So I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee. So coffee, la bebida, café, un lugar, un café. Okay. In English, they use the, I don't know, the, el tilde? Sí, they do. Um, okay. Porque, pues, de hecho, esta palabra, they're not using it por español, lo están ocupando por francés. So that's why they say café, right? Okay. Yep. 
All righty. Next section. Who wants to read Kathy? Right here. Who wants to read this? Yes, go ahead. Uh, they, they're all fine. My father's working outside. He's moving the law. My mother is out shopping. Thank you so much, Samuel. That's right. You're all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. And my mother is out shopping. Cool. And where is your brother? Who wants to read this one? Last one. Que quiere leer right there. Yo. Go ahead. John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Nice. Thank you so much. That's right. And the conversation ends, right? Okay, bye. Bye. Nice. So now that we've read the conversation, you practiced a little bit, we can do the exercises. Let's go back to the platform and review the exercises. We have six exercises and a drop down menu. Un menú de opciones, drop down. So we have their names, tenemos sus nombres, and we need to choose who is doing each thing. Necesitamos escoger quién está haciendo cada cosa, each thing. So who is writing an essay based on the conversation? Kathy, Meg, John, Kathy's mother, Kathy's father, or Carmen? Kathy, you. Cuts. Kathy, oh, Kathy O'Brien, that's right. And who's having coffee? Who's drinking coffee? Meg Martin. Meg Martin Meg. or Meg Martin, right? Martin. Nice. Who is reading a magazine? Carmen. Carmen. <laughs> Carmen. Carmen, right? And she's Meg's friend. All right. Who is working outside? Kathy's father. Kathy's father. Nice. Kathy's father. He's mowing the lawn, right? Who's out shopping? Who is go? Uh, who went shopping? Who is shopping? That is mother's mother. Kathy's mother. mother. All right, she's shopping. And finally, who's playing soccer? He's not there because he's playing soccer. John O'Brien. O'Brien. John O'Brien. Right, and that's Kathy's sister. There we go. That's absolutely right. Perfect. Anyone have any questions with these answers? Alguien que tenga alguna pregunta con estas respuestas, este ejercicio. It's cool. It's good. Great. Mm -hmm. All right. So as you can see. With that exercise, con ese ejercicio, estaríamos cerrando la section five. Recordarles de continuar trabajando en la platform um, para que ya mañana nos quedemos trabajando solamente en el final test. For right now, lo que vamos a hacer ahora, entonces, para poder continuar practicando, es que right now les voy a enviar a WhatsApp, se los voy a enviar por WhatsApp, una conversation, una conversación para que podamos practicarla en breakup rooms. Son dos páginas que vamos a practicar en breakup rooms. Nos vamos a separar por parejas. Veo que estamos 24 people, eh, 23 sin mí. Entonces va a haber un grupo que va a ser de tres personas, but that's okay. Veamos. 
Y se las voy a mandar también por aquí en el chat de Zoom para que puedan usarlo si lo necesitan por aquí en el chat de Zoom también. Y what I want you to do is to get one person each, que se tomen una persona cada uno, as you can see in this conversation. Uh, well, we have different conversations. Tenemos varias conversaciones. George and Thomas, Mercedes and Thomas, boy and Mercedes, and then a girl, and the police officer with George and Mercedes. Así que vamos a ir turnándonos para ir diciendo los diferentes diálogos, los que ya lo pudieron ver que se los puse en WhatsApp, para ir practicando nuestra pronunciation e, um, e ir practicando nuestra fluidez al platicar, al hablar, and that it's easier for you, right? So, se los voy a compartir por aquí también en el chat de Zoom. Oops. Y en un momentito les va a caer la invitación to join the breakup room. Vamos a estar trabajando en parejas. Ay, les mandé el mismo dos veces. Ok, here's the other one. All right, so download it o también lo pueden ocupar en el chat Zoom. Y vamos a hacer ahorita breakup room. Yo voy a estar rotando entre los chats to hear everyone participate. So, ahorita les va a caer su invitation. Please go ahead and join the breakup room so that we can practice. Para que puedan practicar. Hello, hello. Let's go ahead and join the breakup rooms. Hello, good night. Hi, good evening. Ahorita estamos, eh, nos está saliendo en la pantalla una invitación to join the breakup room. Please go ahead and join. Nos está saliendo en la pantalla para unirnos a un breakout room. Please go ahead y unámonos, please, para hacer la práctica.
Yeah. And part two. George, what die in a hole? Why are you talking about the hole with shovel? That's right. So why are the, they asking a stupid question? Mercedes, to the others. See, I don't they rule. Hey man, are you about uh, uh, for for words? Mike, uh, no, we aren't. I know you're dying for the world department. Of this same work? Why? You? Why are you digging a hollow in the middle on the pathway at midnight? Why are you staying, standing there uh, at this time? And why are you ask, asking questions? Aquí dice Mercedes. Tomás, what? Ajá, sería, what are you doing? Porque aquí te parece que dije Tomás. Entonces, sí. what are you doing? At watching them. What are do you doing? Don't ask me. Ask them. Ok. Bueno, yo siento que lo hemos hecho bastante. Bastante sí. bien. Me gustó. Sí. sí. Sí, a mí también. Pero hay una segunda hoja, chicos. Exacto. Ay. Aquí está, está Mercedes, George. Y uno que aparece como boy. Bueno, Mike siempre sería usted, Guadalupe. Ok. Vaya, entonces comienzo yo. Porque Mercedes aparecería que, que soy yo. Ok, Mercedes. <ríe> <ríe> ok. <ríe> to George. And Mike, what are you doing? ¿Quién sería George acá? Ustedes mandan, chicos. Pues como que aparecen más personas si usa. Vayamos leyéndolo uno y uno y uno. Ok. 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 Uh, lady, please, what do you think we are doing? You are doing, I hope. That's right, lady, you are very smart. Creo que estamos bien cruzados. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you read very rude, uh, no, very nude. Nude, uh, nude, no, rude. No es nude. Es ah, sí, es very rude, perdón. Uh -huh. Very rude. Uh -huh. Hey, mate, she says we're, we're very impolite. In, in hey, man, what's going on? Too bad. Too bad, man, red. Men are excavating a hollow. What? Oh, what are you guys doing? What's happening? George? Yeah. Y Mike, ¿quién era? What Yo. are we doing? Oh, okay. que ser Hazel. Yes. Mm, okay, Hazel. Um, what are we doing? Where? Oops. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Nimo. Nimo. Un gusto, compañero. Gracias, igual, amigo. Gracias. Hello. Hello. Have you been able to practice and play a practical? Yes. 
Yes. Nice. All of them? Todas? Um, la verdad, no. <laughs> la mitad. <laughs> sí, la mitad. No, sí. All right, let's continue then. Continuamos. Ok. okay. Um, entonces, sigamos con la, en la segunda parte. Entonces. Démosle, vos. Ajá. Eh, sigue Mercedes, dijo. Mercedes, sí. Que en este caso sería Mike, ¿verdad? El que estaba de Mike antes. Yo creo que es Iván, ¿verdad? Mike, 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 Mike. Entonces, Vaya, me... eh, en el oh. inicio, va. What sí, are inicio. you? Ajá. What are you doing? Lady, please. What do you think we're doing? Sigue Iván. You are digging a hole. Yes, yes. Uh, it says, that's right, lady. You are very smart. Bueno, digging es este, cavando. Entonces ahí pregunta como, tú estás cavando un agujero, le dice ahí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Digging es cavando. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Se pronuncia digging. Entonces, yeah. yo, le, yo le pongo, that's right, lady, you are very smart. Uh -huh. eh, y dice Ahora, Mercedes, uh -huh. and you are very nude, rude. Eres muy fuerte. Eh, hey, Mike, she said we're very polite. Voy a hacer la de ese boy, de chico yo. Ok. Hey man, what's what's going on? Too bad, uh, man. Men are excaving a house. About you. I am What talking in English class. Hope money. Um. I usually. Ya me tocaba. Eh, no, perdón, I... no terminé. Bob. Dice, eh, yeah, no. No, tú sos Annie. Ah, Annie. I am talking an English class. How many times a week do you go to school? I usually go to school twice a week. On Monday and Wednesday, how often do you how often do you go to a school? I always go four times a week and sometimes study and the liver liberty on the weekend. Where do you where do you work? I work at the grocery store on the weekends. What are you doing? I work at the library, library every morning. ¿Cómo se dice? Libre, library every morning. Library. Mon, morning. Morning. How is your, uh, how is your job? O sea, ah, bueno, ya se, no se entiende, si se entiende que es un error, o, sí. o, o queremos entender que es un error. It is sí, fast. Sí, porque dice, it is fast. Sí. Yes. Do you want a ride home? Y de ahí solo, yes, I do. Hello, Ale. ¿Eh? Alejandra. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I have hello. In, in the in this case, uh, wait a minute. May I? I have uh, a question. <laughs> yes. In this case. Which one? Um, this one. Bo. It is fast. Is that it's correct? Or that's correct or, or no? It is it fast. It is not. You found a you found a mistake. Encontraron un error, right? Okay. Exactly. Yep. How eso, should it eso, be? Eso, ¿Cómo eso, debería eso. ser? 
Is it fast? Yeah. Is it fast? That's right. Okay. Yep, that's right. You're right. It's not lo correcto. It should be. Is it fast? Yeah. Finish our three conversation. Nice. That's awesome. We're almost going back to the main room. Ya casi vamos a regresar al main room. Eh, tenemos una conversation after that one. Esa ya la hicieron también. All the four pages, las cuatro yep. páginas. Four pages. Exactly. Yes, four nice. pages. That's awesome. All righty. Ya casi vamos a regresar al breakout room. Give me just a okay. moment. Y ya casi vamos a ir regresando. Okay. okay. Ahorita solo estamos traduciendo algunas palabras. That's yeah. great. Una palabra que no conocemos. Uh -huh. Super. That's awesome. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What are I? Um, any, any above? Any. Ah, uh, yes. Do you want a ride home? Okay. Ahí termina. Sí, ya se ahí dun. Ok. Eh, y luego había otra, ¿cierto? Ah, Hay sí, otra. otra. Página. Sí, en inglés, creo. Sí, la que dice present continuo. Okay. Ese continuo va on the telephone part. Post the telephone part 1, dice. Okay, vamos uno a uno y uno. No sé si inicias tú y Okay. Más. Empieza con Susan. Okay. ¿Qué, eh, ¿Quién va a ser, Irma? Sí, está bien. Eh, empiezo yo entonces. Vale, tú empiezas con Susan. Ok. Eh, hello, can you Juan? Eh, ¿Quién sigue? Juan. Va yo. Ok, this is Juan. Who is speaking? He? Sigo yo. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Sí, sí, vamos, Fernando. He is Susan. Oye, es tu hermano. Eh, y Susan, what are you doing? Hello, hello, welcome back. Bienvenidos de regreso. Esperemos a que se unan las demás personas. Let's wait for everyone to come back from the breakout rooms. Esperemos que regresen los demás de los breakout rooms. Alrighty, hello. Creo que ya regresamos casi todos de los breakout rooms. Hello, hello. 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 Hello, teacher. Hi, estuve escuchando que estuvieron practicando almost all of the conversations. Creo que algunos grupos sí terminaron todas las conversations. Algunos nos quedamos un poquito faltando. Pero, I think you all did a great job. I think everyone did an awesome job. Creo que todos lo hicieron súper, súper Bien, los estuve escuchando a todos. That's awesome. Um, y quería tomar unos minutitos to check with you para revisar con ustedes if you had any questions, si tienen alguna duda, si pudieron encontrar algo interesante, anything that you want to point out, algo que quieran mencionar. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. 
con... Sí. Eh, ¿Hablo yo? O... Ya, yeah, go ahead, sí. Sí, eh, a mí lo que más me cuesta es en la pronunciación. Eh, hay palabras que no logro expresarlas bien. Ok, para eso son súper excelentes este tipo de ejercicios. ¿Hay alguna palabra que quisiera que revisáramos la pronunciación? Eh, tendríamos que irnos al chat, pero, pero yo sí iré practicando. Ok, si hay alguna palabra específica, me lo pueden poner en el chat y we can review the pronunciation. Podemos revisarlo. Creo que también tenía otra persona una duda. Let me know. Dígame. Digging. Veo la palabra que me están poniendo en el chat. Ok. Digging. Entonces, pongamos aquí nuestra whiteboard. Digging. Esta palabra se pronuncia digging y puede significar literalmente como que escarbar, excavar si estamos hablando de digging in the dirt, en la tierra, o también puede significar I am digging information, es como una expresión, rebuscando o escarbando por información. Digging. Next one. Any other questions that you might have? Uh, teacher, digging information. ¿Sí? Digging. Digging. Digging information. Yes, that's right. Así es. Ok. Alrighty. Bueno. Yo sé que ya casi nos vamos por este día. I know it is time, no los quiero tener hasta muy tarde. Solo recordarles que ya el día de mañana vamos a finalizar con el módulo. So it's very important que hayamos terminado la plataforma. Mañana solo vamos a hacer el review del final test. Un poquito de práctica as well. Y con eso estaríamos terminando este módulo. So, I will see you tomorrow. Los voy a ver mañana para que terminemos con este módulo. Okay, okay. Good night. Gracias. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.